white, boys. Hello viewers, welcome to today's video. It is all about something I saw five years ago. Because five years ago, Destin from Smarter Every Day posted a video on a very special bicycle. It's all about a reversed steering bicycle. So if you steer left, bike goes to the right and the other way around. And since I'm obviously an authority on bicycles here on YouTube, I thought it was a good idea to see if what he is trying to tell us there is actually true. So this is kind of a Mythbusters and Smarter Every Day and Mike Boyd crossover. So let's see how this goes. Let's see the video uh, Destin posted five years ago. Hey, it's me Destin. Welcome back to Smarter Every Day. You've heard people say it's just like riding a bike, meaning it's really easy and you can't forget how to do it, right? I did something that damaged my mind. It happened on the streets of Amsterdam and- Amsterdam. I've biked there many times because I live very close to Amsterdam. I know it can be a bit hectic in Amsterdam on the roads, but you know, I am used to that and I think all Dutch bicyclists are used to that. It's mostly the tourists who have a hard time bicycling there. He had a challenge for me. He had built a special bicycle and he wanted me to try to ride it. When you turn it to the right, the wheel goes to the left. It's exactly the system I'm talking about, but they have gears. The gears are super nice because you can make the system very compact. And here he is, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Destin Sandlin. First attempt riding the bicycle. Yeah. yeah, I sure. couldn't do it. Knowledge is not understanding. Knowledge is not understanding is what Destin claims here. Let's see if that's really the case with this bicycle. Look, I know what you're probably thinking. Destin's probably just an uncoordinated engineer and can't do it. I'm not saying not this at all. all. I know Destin is one of the, well, the most intelligent creators on YouTube. He has a lot of skills actually that lots of us wish we would have. But after eight months, this happened. One day I couldn't ride the bike and the next day I could. So he took eight months. Then he challenged Mike Boyd to do the same. So Destin said it took him eight months to learn how to ride this bike. Eight months, Destin, come on. How hard can it be? It's just a bike, right? So I'm going to try and concentrate that learning process into a much shorter space of time. 50 meters is his benchmark of being able to drive this thing. Yes, I'm gonna do it! Important to note is that he is bicycling on an open field with lots of space to go, right? And also the road was very quiet road. My thinking is how hard is it to bike on this thing actually in a traffic situation on a small narrow bike path or even without any bike path on the side of the road. Enough of this chatter, let's actually get to building one. I don't know why I walked away, I am doing this after I already built the bike. Roll the montage. With this connection, if one rotates to the right, the other one will rotate to the left. Perfect!
stuff is still very loose, but I just cannot resist and I just wanted to try this. I promise, I have never ridden this thing before or any bike with this sort of mechanism in the steering. I will now show you that in my beliefs this is not as hard as people are all claiming. Let's do this in Mike Boyd style. This is day zero, hour one. Let's give this a try. So let's do this. Alright, there we go. Look, alright. It's away, well that's, that's about three meters I would say, even more maybe. And again, this is easily over three meters because the Benetton field is five meters wide, so... Did we just bust the myth already? I don't know. I think I did. <gasps> well, that's what the most people experience immediately, but... Honestly, I mean, that's if, if I can ride it already like this... It was harder to ride a swing bike than this thing, yeah? honestly. Well, that's not entirely true. Swing bike is easier after a while, but you can actually go through traffic easily without being afraid for your life. Look, how, how far did I even you know, ride here? It's, it's, it's a work. <laughs> uh, you know, it's actually, the hardest part is the fact that there's so much slack right now of the system. And it's so bouncy, so I have to come back to this and, and fix this. All right, let's give this one more try. I would say the hardest part is when you get close to walls, then you stress out. So that's why Destin also said, as soon as I get distraction, then it's when you switch back to the old neural path. I tried doing some head calculations, well you'll see, and see if I can still uh, ride the bike. Also the, the mechanism was super wonky and sketchy, I have to say. I don't think many people uh, would trust that at all. Yeah, the turns are the hardest part. Sharp turns that is. Let's call this day for now. Tomorrow I'll come back, fix the fix the tightness on the rope, and tomorrow let's see how much more minutes I will need to successfully cycle through my city. That's my objective. Here, there we go. I'm I literally doing it. After two minutes, it's just for me. It was very good to look at my front wheel. You could see where it goes, and then you can actually think about okay, I'm going to left steer, I'm going to right steer, etc., etc. <laughs> he was uh, telling the slack was annoying as well. But look, I mean, okay, he's using his foot quite a lot in the beginning so he had he had a little bit more problems with uh, getting started uh, actually he got, he got a lot of problems getting started if I see it now uh, but after a few uh, minutes he could drive it as well we have tightened up the system and uh, well it's, it's way more direct so let the progress continue all right three minutes let's see what uh, is to be done all right so I believe from here okay watch my foot if they go to the ground no ground, no ground, no ground. Turning around, no ground, no ground, no ground. Coming back, that's easily 50 meters. I believe I'm at the level where uh, Mike Boyd called it uh, riding the bike, so. But we don't stop here. I want to be able to drive this thing through the city traffic of Harlem, yeah? Or Amsterdam for that matter. Watch this clip by Smart Every Day. Everybody thought he could do it. <laughs> okay, I think. I literally needed five seconds to be able to complete the challenge you set with uh, on stage. But Destin, come on, man! You said no one can drive this thing straight away. Well, 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 we could, I guess. Here we're just practicing, so time flies by. But, and I mean, it went pretty well. Um, so you know what? I've been driving for what, like seven minutes now. It was time to take it onto the street. And maybe this is the worst decision ever. So. Uh, I would not recommend doing this, uh, please don't try this at home. Uh, also I don't want any comments on no helmet because that's normal here in the Netherlands. So let's see how that goes. So first I, I went in full confidence, see, onto the bike path, the, the red thing. And then I'm like, oh shit, it's actually very scary because of the cars. I don't want to crash into a car. Uh, I mean the, the bike lane is probably like one meter wide or something like that, maybe a little bit more. But that restriction, that makes it so much harder, you cannot imagine. Oh, <laughs> see, it's super easy. <laughs> okay, it's really, it's really f***ing up the mind when you actually have to drive in a one meter wide lane. Because it's totally different, you cannot just go anywhere, you have to stay there. It's, that's really annoying and really hard. And that's actually what makes it hard, so... Yeah, it's actually true. So right here, it's not very busy on the streets, I have to say that, but... It's still kind of scary because you don't know what comes from behind, maybe a scooter passes or something. Uh, you never know. So we decided to go through the park a little bit, 
but uh, yeah, of course we are used to flat country. So there was a hill here and, and uh, I had to use my backwards motion brake. This is also interesting. I was actually driving on the left here. Um, we were in the Netherlands, so that's not very normal. Alright, so I can do the 50 yards thing easily, like if you have enough space, like Mike Boyd did. But if you actually try to bike through a town, uh, even without any traffic, it's ridiculously hard. So I will keep practicing, but I'm now like 20 minutes in, something like that. So after this we decided it was time for some more challenging stuff, uh, because we can ride the bike now, uh, well, at least what everyone calls this riding. I'm not confident through traffic, because as soon as you need to reflex, that's where you go wrong, and then you steer. And the funny thing is, if you fall to the left, for example, you steer into the left, you actually are steering to the right, so you are amplifying your fall by times 10, so you're actually hitting the ground extra hard because you're steering into the fall. Oh yeah, there's, there's cans laying around in the hole as well, because we tried to make sort of a circuit. All right, well, that's kind of good. So many people say, once you sort of can do this, it's really hard to switch back to a normal steering bike. So to test this, I got a normal steering bike. This uh, <laughs> a very normal steering bike. You see? Okay, let's see if I can still do this. Ready? Ah, not a single problem, man. <laughs> okay, there we go. So that's a mint. Busted. There's literally no hard. Hard mode at all, it's literally just step on the bike and it's fine again. Even with a not so normal bike like this. By the way, we made this bike ourselves as well. It's called a swing bike. Do you want to know how to make this? Just click there, somewhere. <coughs> okay. okay. Alright, so now we decided it was time to do some quick fire uh, math problems. Let's see if it makes it harder for me to, to drive the bikes. Well, Destin and Mike, I think if an actual team of researchers or researcher would look into this and see what happens and why this happens, if some neurobiologist or again, I think it might be something cultural because we are bicycling so much, then also had it done pretty fast, like a few more minutes than I did, he was way under the one and a half hour Mike had and under the 20 hours Destin needed to do this. So maybe it has to do with the fact that I, for example, also have learned how to ride a tall bike. In which case you cannot stop. And maybe this moment where you think, oh, I'm gonna fall, I have to put my foot out. Maybe I'm sort of used to this moment of panic and I can extend that a little bit longer. Still do what I think I have to do at that moment. I'm not sure if you see what I mean. Actually, this is a sort of a reopening of this topic. We know it is hard and even the three meters on stage that's the thing that I'm so amazed about that they couldn't drive the three meters I think this will stay a mystery but at least the myth is busted well guys I hope you liked this video it's a bit of a different format than normally I hope you appreciate it if you like what you saw consider leaving a like or even subscribe that would help me out a lot stay tuned nice things are to come there's a massive wheel here for example this wheel for example will soon be used in a project and for now I will see you in the next one Peace. It's flying in the open and I guess you're yeah.